Hi guys, so, so today's book is called The Word Collector. In the book, a little boy named Jerome is going around and collecting words and using them in a powerful way. So during this book, I want you to be thinking about what Jerome's trying to teach us. So this is also known as a theme or the author's message. So a lot of times when authors write a book, they have a lesson that they're trying to help learners or readers learn. So let's see what Jerome might be trying to teach us. The word collector. Collectors collect things. Some people collect stamps. Some people collect coins. Others collect rocks. Some collect art. Some collect bugs. Others collect baseball cards. Some people collect comic books. And Jerome, what did he collect? Jerome collected words. So here it says wonder. He collected words he heard. My trip to Peru was perfectly pleasant. Certain words caught his attention. So I see the word Peru is in red, so I wonder if that's the word that he's collecting. He collected words he saw. Here it says willow, willow, tea shop. Certain words just jumped out at him. He collected words he read. Emerald in the Wizard of Oz. Certain words popped off the page. Short and sweet words. Spark, bloom, drift, dream. Two-syllable treats. Treasure, candid, hover, glimmer. And multi-syllable words that sounded like little songs. Kaleidoscope, guacamole, geometry, wonderful, symphony. There were words he did not know the meaning of at first, but they were marvelous to say. There were words whose sounds were perfectly suited to their meaning. Molasses, smudge, bellow. Tyrannosaurus Rex. Jerome filled his scrapbooks with more and more of his favorite words. Jerome's collections grew. He began organizing them. Dreamy, science, sad, action, poetic. One day, while transporting them, I wonder what he's going to do with these words. Jerome slipped and his words went flying. Whoa. As he began to pick them up, he noticed his collections had become jumbled. Big words next to little words. Sad words next to dreamy words. Jerome began stringing words together. Whisper, symphony, electric, peace. Savor, dreams, cascading stars. Words he had not imagined being side by side. Starting to see these words a little bit differently. He used his words to write poems. He used his poems to make songs. They moved, they delighted. Some of his simplest words were his most powerful. I understand. I'm sorry. Thank you. You matter. Some of his simplest words were his most powerful. Jerome eagerly collected more and more of his favorite words. The more words he knew, the more clearly he could share with the word what he was thinking. Oh, sorry, with the world what he was thinking, feeling, and dreaming. One breezy afternoon, Jerome climbed the highest hill, pulling a wagon packed with his word collection. He smiled as he emptied his collection of words into the wind. He saw children in the valley below, scurrying about collecting words from the breeze.
Jerome had no words to describe how happy that made him. Reach for your own words. Tell the world who you are and how you will make it better. That's by Peter Hamilton Reynolds. So reach for your own words. Tell the world who you are and how you will make it better. So I'm wondering if what the author and Jerome are trying to teach us is how to share what we know with others to try to make the world a better place. Because just like Jerome, how he shared all of his words, which he had been collecting just for himself, once he shared them, he made the world a better place. And he was talking about how powerful those words are, like, I'm sorry, and I forgive you, and you matter. So sharing things with others about yourself and positive things makes the world a better place. So that's my idea of what the author was trying to teach us. And I think that Jerome did a great job showing that to us. So that was the world, the word collector.